Tonight, a pricey and secretive members-only club at Disneyland now in the spotlight. This after an Arizona couple's membership was revoked, costing them hundreds of thousands of dollars in legal fees. The park claiming Scott Anderson was drunk at Disney's Club 33, the elite paid membership club. But Anderson says he was suffering from a medical issue. I wasn't found to be drunk in the park. I had a vestibular migraine in the park, which was which was horrific. Their lawsuit to have their memberships reinstated failing when a jury sided with Disney earlier this month. We reached out to Disney about the lawsuit, but have not heard back. I had two beers and a half a glass of wine. So what exactly is Club 33? The website vaguely describes it as a private membership club with a variety of tailored experiences at both Disneyland and Disney World. But Disney super fans share an inside look at some of the experiences on social media. I ordered the Le Ramon Fizz for my first drink, which was delicious. And then the pear salad, scallop, and filet mignon as my first three courses. And we may or may not have shopped for some merch. There might be a haul coming soon. You get 50 single-day guest passes to the parks, private VIP tour once a year, LA parking, which honestly might be the best part of this entire thing. The Andersons say it was a dream come true to finally be accepted to Disneyland's Club 33 at the California theme park park after more than a decade on the wait list, no matter the pricey membership fees. $10,000 back when we first joined. Today, that membership is $32,000. It's like four times as much money as, as you know, we thought it was going to be. And it was like, okay, great. But, you know, I mean, this is this is our world at this point. Once they were in, their attorney says they were regular visitors going at least 80 times a year there to get the VIP treatment and behind the scenes access. We had just tons of amazing experiences. We had dinner inside the Haunted Mansion. And to them, when they would go to Disneyland, they would have these fantastic moments that you can't recreate. You couldn't, you couldn't even set up and they became lifelong memories. And for them, that was worth every dollar, every cent that they spent. The couple says they spent as much as $125,000 a year in visits. As any avid Disney person would be, that would be your dream, would be to member, be a member of Club 33. But access to those special perks means abiding by terms and conditions set by the park. Private membership organizations have enormous discretion over who to admit and who to kick out based on whatever rules they decide. As for the Andersons, they say they aren't giving up their legal battle just yet and plan to appeal. My wife's loved Disney her whole life. We are going to continue the fight. All right, Valerie Castro joins us now in studio. A lot of people watching this are going to be intrigued. Mm -hmm. What else do you get with Club 33 besides, you know, drinks and a couple of passes? So the Andersons were members for five years before they were kicked out of the club. And in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, they say they got perks like hanging out in Walt Disney's private apartment at the park. They got to go to various lounges and bars. They heard about celeb sightings like Tom Hanks and Rebel Wilson. They also tell The Hollywood Reporter that they weren't banned from the park, even though their members from the club was revoked, so they've continued to visit just as regular visitors. Yeah, clearly they love Disney. Okay, uh, we will follow this. We thank you so much. We learned a lot about Club 33. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.